Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. So this is an introduction to Simulink Basics. The references are Control Systems Engineering Book, 6th edition by Norman S. Nice. The objectives include uh, the making of model of dynamic systems in MATLAB using Simulink Toolbox Library and to simulate and analyze the responses of LTI systems through step, ramp and parabolic inputs and show them on the scope. For sure the required software is MATLAB and then the Simulink and Control System Toolbox. Uh, we are not really using the Control System Toolbox right now but the Simulink is in spotlight. So Simulink is an extension of MATLAB it is used in MATLAB for modeling, simulating and analyzing the dynamical systems under a GUI environment. Its primary interface is a graphical block diagramming tool and a customizable set of block libraries. It offers integration with the rest of MATLAB environment and can either drive MATLAB or be scripted from it. So what are the uh, meanings, exact meanings of these things like uh, it offers integration with the rest of MATLAB environment and can either drive MATLAB or be scripted from it. We'll uh, just learn these things in the coming tasks and the things that we need to learn in this lab. So GUI, I guess all of you should know graphical user interface. The Simulink toolbox can be opened by using Simulink command in the command window. Simulink toolbox has a wide range of building blocks for designing purposes in its library. The blocks can be dragged from the library to the Simulink design window to make the design and the blocks can be connected to each other via lines which can easily be made by clicking the ports of the block and dragging the lines toward another block. So this is about how to build uh, uh, or construct the building blocks for uh, uh, different circuits or different other uh, block diagrams or models in MATLAB. And you can just drag or uh, cut and paste the blocks that you require from uh, the library to the Simulink design window. And, uh, you, and all of these components gather to make a model for you which can be implemented or uh, I guess referred to different projects and uh, things that you require in control systems. So conversion of Simulink design into MATLAB command window system parameters. So this is something that we were talking about over here. This can be done uh, by using the command lin mod line mode and then the file name in inverted comma single inverted commas and round brackets. The models which we make on the Simulink design window can be converted and manipulated in the MATLAB command window by using the line mode command. The syntax is linmod and in the round brackets will put the file name in single inverted commas. So this is the command that's basically being used by us for extracting out a transfer function from a Simulink block diagram or Simulink circuit or Simulink model and the transfer function that would be extracted uh, can be in terms of ZPK model, numerator denominator model or state space model. So by default, <coughs> sorry, so by default I guess it would give us the state space model. So if you need to extract out uh, the numerator or denominator, the TF model, so you will write scare brackets, num, denum, and then this would be equal to or being assigned the value of line mode and then the file name. Similarly, 
if you want to have transfer function in the form of zpk model you will write zpk in square brackets and then equal to line mode and then this uh, syntax over here in the line mode syntax we include the name of file by which the simulink design has been saved so that the matlab can extract the data of the design from that specific file into the MATLAB command window. So that's very important. You need to save the Simulink model with some name in uh, your computer and then you need to uh, call it out over here in this line using the line mode command syntax. So the tasks are construct an LTI model of unity feedback system. Okay, so this is something that we're going to learn over here. That what's a unity feedback system on the Simulink design window using the Simulink library and then check its step response on the scope for the system given below. Okay, so we have been given with a system and we need to connect this model into a unity feedback system and then we need to check its step response for these parameters so let's begin with a simple task that uh, I need to give you as an example I would just click over Simulink library over here and till it opens we'll move back to the PDFs so that uh, we can have a look at the further tasks it says Task number two says, call the file of Simulink design made in task one into command window system parameters and convert the parameters into transfer function representation. Okay, so uh, this is something that we were talking over here that how you can call it back to the command window and then extract out our transfer function. Then we have derive a transfer function for the system given below. So how would you do that? The first thing that you would do is that you will make the system as it is in the Simulink um, model. And after you have done uh, copying it in your Simulink model, then you have to derive the transfer function for this system. So this is I guess not so uh, difficult and it would be very easy for you guys. So let's move on with an example and here as you can see it's still working. So this can take some time until then I'll open Simulink model and you can see library has opened okay. So here I click a Simulink model. and here we have the library so this this is the model and okay I'll try that it appears in half of the screen so okay so you can see that in the Simulink library we have commonly used blocks continuous blocks discontinuities and the main uh, objective of our labs will be fulfilled normally by these commonly used blocks so here you can have a look then we have in block and this is the output block these blocks are very necessary when you are trying to extract the data from uh, Simulink model in the form of transfer function or any other form uh, using the line mode command so first of all will not go towards the step inputs or out uh, sorry the inputs and outputs will rather move towards the step input and the scope output so the sinks and sources contain the step input and output i'm just creating an uh, example for you so that the further tasks are easy for you so we'll just grab it from here and drop it down over here you can see a step block over here now what we'll do is that we need uh, a transfer function block I'll write over here transfer you can see it's already appeared transfer FCN I'll press press enter okay 
we'll just have to wait for a while okay finally it's here so you can use any of these blocks but this is a simple transfer function block and I would just drag it over here okay so here's the transfer function now we need the output scope where the output would be visible I've written scope in the search bar you can see here's the scope and here it goes okay so now what we need to do is that we need to connect this in feedback for connecting this in feedback we need a summer junction I write summer over here okay so I just write sum okay so sum appears over here now you can see that it adds it has a positive sign over here and a positive sign over here but the unity feedback systems are normally negative unity feedback systems so I'll double click on this and in the list of signs I'll replace the second sign with the negative one I'll just apply it and now you can see that here's a negative sign over here now so I've just connected these points sources with the help of wires that appear automatically and this input would be connected with this feedback output over here okay you can also change the direction of wires you can see I can drag this up and down and this can be dragged left right up down okay so that's depend depending on you now in order to change the transfer function block according to the parameters we need what we'll do is that we'll just double click on this transfer function block here it shows me the numerator coefficients and the denominator coefficients so you know that here we have m is equal to 2 b is equal to 2 and k is equal to 10 in this equation but i would use something different i would use 4 5 and 6 as an example okay so i'll just apply it and press okay okay now to run it you can see that we have completed the system and here's the step block it shows that the step time is one seconds initial value would be zero the final value would be one and the sampling time would be zero seconds okay so this thing would be uh, can be seen separately in the scope too uh, we can see it in the coming tasks but now we don't need to do much with this block so we'll just apply it as an input now i would run this circuit and you can say that nothing has happened but actually uh, it's not like proteus or some other softwares what you need to do is that you need to uh, open the scope after you have uh, pressed the run command over here so i've just run it and now i'll open the scope by just double clicking over it I've maximized it and now you can see this curve over here but you need to enlarge is through right clicking I've just right clicked on the surface and then using this auto scale option now you can see this output over here it's rising exactly at the one second which was the sample time uh, of the step input at one second the input has been applied and you can see that it's a transient response of this transfer function that we have applied a step input to and here we can see that it the final value of the system is about 0.14 something so this is the output and now if we need to extract this trans the transfer function for this system in command window what we'll need to do is that we'll replace this step block with the in block okay so i'll just write in and here's the input block this is really important and you shouldn't miss this part and the output with out one so i'll just delete the scope 
and the step input because these are not the part of transfer functions and I've replaced the blocks with input and output. I'll minimize this window. Now the second thing we need to do is we need to save this and I'll just save it with the name task1. So you can see task1 appears over here. Now if I need to extract out the data in form of numerator and denominator as I've already told you, I'll just write num denom lin mod and the syntax as given in the manual. Now here's the name that has been given to the Simulink model bias. So that's task one. I'll just press enter. And here you can see that the numerator is 0 0.25 and there's the denominator. Now what to do to convert this to transfer function? So you can see here's the command that I've used and here's the transfer function that has been created. This transfer function is basically the overall transfer function of this system that I have made over here. Some of you might be thinking that this was the transfer function that should have been appeared over here. No. A feedback system has a transfer function equal to g of s divided by 1 plus g of s h of s. So h of s is equal to 1 over here and h of s is basically the feedback term that's going back towards the input from the feedback. So basically over here the thing that's being fed back from the output to the input is being multiplied with just one. That is between the output and the input through this feedback loop we have only one that is unity and that's why it's called unity feedback system. If we have mul we multiply something like two over here or another block of transfer function over here then the value for h of s would change and similarly the value for output transfer function over here would change so that's basically what you needed to know about transfer functions they're making in this uh, simulink and then uh, in order to extract out their transfer functions into the command window. I guess uh, I've given you a pretty good example at the, and that would be understandable for you, I hope. So using this example, you have to complete these three tasks and then the final task too, which says the derive a transfer function for the system given below. So this is simply an integrator wherever you get stuck you can uh, ask me for help but if you don't find uh, manually these blocks you can just put them in this search bar over here like you can write int for integrator and it shows the integrator that has been used over here this is a simple dc gain and it can be called out by simply writing gain over here. I'll write it for you that for uh, for the part that I hope that th this won't, won't be difficult for you guys I hope. So you need to complete these three tasks and I'll be asking questions from uh, the video lecture that I've uh, given right now. So I hope uh, these things would be easy for you and the tasks would be completed in time. Uh, you can mention your comments and queries in the comments section too and uh, you can ask me uh, at a different platform as well. So that's all for this lab. Take good care of yourselves. Uh, Allah Hafiz.